I think you may have played that Kansas team that last loss on their last home game. Uh, and then 38 straight, we get asked this every year, but this, what a crazy record at Kansas and uh, holding on to that tradition the two previous coaches started. Oh, uh, is a uh, uh, for senior night? Uh, yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know what the number was, but it's it's pretty ridiculously high, and you just tried to jinx us right there, Dave. So, uh, 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 yeah, it's it's a great great tradition. I'm I'm trying to think. I was a uh, I was a uh, eighty three. Eighty three was the last year, and so. Uh, uh, I don't even remember who it was. Who was it that beat us? Nebraska, Nebraska beat us here. Uh, but I was part of 88, you know, because I was on the Oklahoma State bench when Danny's last year and, and when Archie came off the bench, uh, which to me is probably as memorable a senior day as you could ever have. You got you know, Danny and Pipe and, and uh, those guys, and then Archie, uh, who was uh, tore his ACL for the second time. And, and uh, he came out and shot an air ball just to get in the game in the last uh, minute. So that was that was pretty special. Of course, I was on the other bench, but there's been some great ones. There hasn't been a ton of games uh, that I can remember uh, that the, the 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 stakes were as high to win a game as it is this year. Uh, I believe we had a winner take all game against Texas, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, uh, when Brennan was a senior, Brennan and Kleiman were seniors, and I was nervous as hell starting both of them that game, <laughs> winner take all. But but uh, uh, no, they did great. Uh, but this is a big game. Obviously, stakes are high, and we're playing a team that's already beaten us once. And so, um, you know, even though the, the statistics say a certain thing, the other thirty-eight won't have anything to do with what happens tomorrow. Maybe a quick bonus group that makes you been here forever, and then. Um, some local kids and some guys that just came in this year. Just any any memories or any thoughts on these guys? Yeah, it's a great group. It's a great group. We got we got two newbies in, in uh, Jalen and Remy, and and uh, of course uh, four mainstays and in, in uh, Oach. Uh, obviously, David. You know, it's hard to think that David and Oach are babies of the foursome, and then you have Chris and 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 uh, Mitch. So it's a it's a it's a really Good group. Uh, it's unfortunate one of them can't start tomorrow just because of rules, but we will positively start our four guys that have been with us the whole time. And, and I don't know what we'll do with the other one. Uh, we may do rock, paper, scissors. I don't have any idea. So uh, because they both deserve to, but you're just not going to be able to do that. So, uh, and, but they, you know, in, in defense of those guys, you know, they've both, they've already both had senior days. I think, uh, I think Jalen may have had two so already. So this will be his third. So uh it, it it's a it's certainly the right thing to do to play our put play uh these guys that have been with us the longest or start. Yeah. Texas pretty personnel and what was the challenge of facing them and memories of the first game? Well, you know, first game, I didn't think we played particularly well, and Chris may not have thought his team did either because they didn't make shots. Uh, but it was a it was a game in which uh, neither team controlled back and forth, uh, and then we got the lead late, and then uh, we had some things go go bad in the last minute and a half, you know, to to allow them to win the game. Uh, we had two turnovers in the last minute and a half, and. They banked in a three, and 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 then they executed better. Uh, Timmy Allen made a couple of plays, uh, so we got what we deserved. But they're they're a different team a little bit now, personnel wise, because because of uh, Mitchell isn't with them. But that's given Christian uh, Bishop, you know, more opportunity, and he's made the most of that opportunity. And in many ways, they're probably a little bit more athletic because Christian can switch all ball screens and do that too. So. Uh, they get, they got a good team. I mean, they'll be a top four, four or five seed at the worst in the NCAA tournament, and and uh, so this will be this will be a very difficult game. You said last night you thought Saturday would be more of a fun pressure. Yeah, I think so. On that? Well, I, th I think uh, yesterday was more of a kind of a anxious uh, 
uh, I don't know if there's a right way to put this, but sometimes you, you look past uh, uh, third base to get home. Uh, and, and even though the situation, you got to win one at a time, you, 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 you know, but take them one at a time. Sometimes I don't know if it's as easy to do that. And you, you just play TCU and they beat us and we're coming home and yeah, we got to beat them, but we also have a game that, that, that will probably be the most memorable game <clears throat> for, for six of them in their career here at Kansas. And so, uh, uh, you know, was there, there wasn't look ahead, don't get me wrong. But was there a, a pressure that we had to win that one just to set up a bigger moment? Uh, and, and maybe I didn't explain it very well, but I do think we felt that a little bit. And Bill, you got more games left, but how are you going to remember this as a person, Coach I? Uh, <clears throat> I'm trying to think back of the guys that we had whose personality uh, equaled their talent as far as fun and their impact on our school and on our campus was close to the impact that they had on the court and, uh, uh, and well liked by everybody, uh, respectful, you know, not perfect honorary, but still yet, you know, uh, uh, certainly, uh, Put ever put others before them, and and certainly their teammates. And uh, I know there's more than this, but Aaron Miles comes to mind. He was a 12, and of course Devonte comes to mind. He was a 12, and and Ochai is is that as well. He 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 is a. Uh, uh, the others were probably he and Devonte are more alike because. To be honest, neither were that was that good when they got here, and and uh, Aaron was, and and uh, and uh, uh, if you watch Oach now, how he encourages people, how he he's the most talkative guy on the team, he's the most athletic guy, he plays harder, uh, he's the best conditioned, he takes scout report more serious. I mean, he is a guy that to me has soaked in everything he possibly could of his senior year. I mean, uh, and and I don't know that very many guys are capable to do that like the way he is. Uh, there's no outside distractions. There's no noise. There's no thought of draft. There's none of that stuff. It's us, we, team, and uh, uh, that's how I'll remember Oach as much as anything. But on top of that, he is a he's a a, a, a beautiful basketball player to watch. Uh, to me, uh, I, I, I love how he can do things athletically, run full speed, stop on a dime. I, I love how his balance is always good. I, I, I love his, I, 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 there's some things that you can't teach that you like about him as a player. But the biggest thing is I just love how hard he tries. I mean, he, he's made him, he, he's, a, he's got some God-given talent, don't get me wrong, but he's, he's made himself into the player he is today. I know you like to let that decision be the, the player's decision and the families and all that stuff as far as coming back or not coming back, but he made a good decision, it looks like. And, and how much he, – and he'll make, he'll, he'll, He made a good decision last year, and he'll make a great decision this year. Mm -hmm. Go. I mean, it's it's over. Sure, no, but so, I mean, so. in the future, how, how much will you reference that with, with future guys in his position? Uh, uh, you know what? Uh, you could reference it. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Devontae made the same decision. I don't know if you guys remember Devontae – could have gone, and he said, no, nah, to heck with it. I'm not even going to go to the combine. Uh, he turned that down because he wanted to stay. Uh, I think a lot of it's just based on personal preference and and what family preference is and kind of where they see the, the future. Uh, and there's not a right or wrong, but uh, there's an advantage of being older. Everybody talks about the disadvantage of being older. Well, there's an advantage of being older, and, and – uh, and I think Oach and Devonte and 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 those kids have taken full advantage of of that. But uh, uh, yeah, he made a great decision last year to come back, and it was his decision. He be I, he tell you it wasn't me talking him into it. It was his decision. And uh, I think that kids uh, are much more comfortable with those decisions when they know it's theirs, as opposed to somebody trying to convince them that's what they need to do. And Nobody tried to convince him. That was all he and his family.
feel like when Dave talks a little bit on the podcast that when he does it, it, it sounds smart because we blast him here. But up here, up here, he said that he didn't make it. Decisions yeah, I, 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 I have talked to Dave about it. And we will when I mean, the season's over. But, but, you know, he's been here four years. He's done what he needs to do. He's got his degree uh, in three. Uh, 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 his whole deal was get his degree in three in case he could leave after three. And, of course, his foot didn't allow him to even test last year. So uh, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not anticipating him coming back, but I'm not also making that decision. That would be he and his family's decision. But – but certainly the game plan with him, and I'm sure it'd be the same, is it's time for you to go, you know, try this and see how far basketball, can, you know, he can take you. Uh, uh, but, you know, who, who knows what that'll be. But he does have that option to come back because of the COVID year. Bill, I got a last night question. You're, you're down by six in the second half, and, and uh, the CB and Juan both have been in little minor slumps. They, they come out of it that juncture and really kind of turned the game. Around. Yeah, I don't know the exact timing, but was that when Juan made his three? Yeah. And and and, uh, and also CB made two huge ones. Uh, and the first one was a contested three, too. The second one was wide open, but the first one was contested. And, and uh, uh, but you're right. They, they, they have been in uh, a little bit minor offensive slumps. Uh, but I, I, you know, I haven't based their judgment of play on – uh, on that as much as how do they impact us winning. And, and I think that they can both do better in that area. And I thought Juan was terrific last night to start the game. I, I thought, I thought he, he set the tone for us getting off to a good start. And, of course, they weren't going to go away. They're, they're too good a team and, to do that. But, but uh, Juan was huge last night. He, I don't know if that was his best game, but that was that's certainly in his best handful of games he's had this year. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. That's, That's it. Real. All right.